Hey guys, I'm back again. Sorry I haven't been on in a while. Uh, but today's video is going to be different. Today I'll be talking about Gary's Mod and Trouble at Terrace Town and a few Lua coding um, tutorials, uh, maybe for the next two or three um, videos. Now, um, I'm going to automatically assume that people that are watching this video know what Gary's Mod, Trouble in Terrace Town, Lua coding, any of that kind of stuff, because realistically, if you don't know what that is, this video will, won't really be helpful to you, okay? It will help you in the long run if you want to try it out yourself, but it probably, you'll probably get very, very confused, okay? So I just wanted to warn you guys before you watch whatever length this video is, okay? So the first things first, um, you're going to need a server, okay? I'll leave a link in the description to a guy I know who made a very good tutorial on how to um, create a server for free. So, I mean, it's not a fast DL server, but it runs off your laptop, off your router. So if you have a decent internet, this should be helpful for you. Okay, so first things first, or second thing anyway, is uh, once you have your server up and running and everything, you want to probably add some weapons, okay? And a lot of people I know like to have fun on their servers. So um, I'm going to take a custom weapon for Gmod, or Gary's mod if you want to call it that, and um, apply the weapon, which is only for Gary's mod sandbox servers, and change it for a Trouble in Terrace Town server, okay? So go to steamcommunity.com or garysmod.org um, and find a swap, okay? Um, more than likely, if you want to test out the swap actually works, as in the coding actually works, um, download the file, um, locate it on your server um, folder, and uh, start up Gary's Mod, start up your server, and see if the weapon actually spawns, okay? Now, the way you spawn it, I'm sure you most of you know, is by using ULX or type command, okay? So... Once that stuff's out of the way and the weapon works when you spawn it, but you can't pick it up, okay? So you can spawn the weapon, the weapon's there on the floor, you can't you can't pick it up, you can't use it. Okay, so that's the problem we have here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to change that so you can pick it up, you can spawn it, and all that kind of stuff. So today I'm going to be using the laser minigun swept. Okay, I just found it on Gmod there while I was looking. And... Um, I tested out to see if I could spawn it and I could. So I'm going to change the code around a bit to show you guys how you can make a Gmod uh, weapon into a TTT weapon. So I've subscribed to it there on Steam Community and a lot of people wonder when you subscribe to a weapon like that uh, or anything, a map or uh, how am I meant to access the folder? A lot of people are like, oh, you need to go on Gmod and install it. Which is true. You need to, once you've downloaded, once you've subscribed to anything on Steam Community, you need to start up Gary's Mod and let it install, then close Gary's Mod. Okay. Um, so in order to access the folder, you need an EXE software, which I found on the internet called Gmod Con uh, Converter. Okay. I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. And what this does is as follows. Okay. So first of all, you want to access the folder where you've subscribed to all your stuff. So we go to start, computer, C drive, program files 86 for 64 bit, find your Steam folder, Steam apps, common. The reason I say common is because the new update, which is converted Gary's Mod, all the stuff's been in common folder now. So go to Gary's Mod, and Gary's Mod again, and add ons. Okay, so. Ignore these folders here for now. These are the ones that you will have subscribed to using the Steam community, okay? Now, in order to apply the exe file you've downloaded, simply find the one that you've downloaded. So in this case, it's the minigun. Right click, properties, change, browse, find out where you've downloaded it, open it, click OK, apply, and OK, okay? Now I've cancelled those there because I've already done it. And you should get this kind of mini icon here. It's not really an icon, but it shows that the exe file has been responded. Okay, so simply double click the file. And a CMD command will come up and it'll extract the folder up here. Okay, so this is the folder we want. Now just put that to the side, minimize that. 
and open your Gary's Mod server. So mine's located in computer, C drive, Gmod. Gary's Mod. Okay, now, this is what you wanna do. You wanna go to add-ons on your server, okay? And you want to take the weapon you've just extracted, copy it, paste, into the add-ons folder. Now you can close the Gary's Mod directory if you want. Um, we no longer need that. Now, in the add-ons folder, this may be different for some of you because I have the most updated version and I'm also using Steam CMD. So if you have S or CDS, um, I think it's Half-Life 2 dedicated or whatever it was, um, your folder locations may be different. But if you have an add-ons folder, this should work. Okay. Uh, if you don't, you're going to need to go to the add-ons folder, laser minigun, and correspond all the uh, content inside these folders to the content on your Gary's Mod server. Okay, so Lua stuff goes into the Lua folder, materials goes into the materials folder, etc. So in this case, it's easier for me because there's a code somewhere in the server that allows me to use the add-ons folder. You guys should be able to do it too, but I don't, I'm not too sure. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to stick with what we're doing, which is the laser minigun swept. Uh, go into Lua, weapons, EG, shared. Okay, and this is the code that we they use to spawn it on Gmod, so like Sandbox or whatever. Now, we want to apply certain TTT code to allow this weapon to spawn on the map and equip it. Okay, so I took the liberty of taking a bit of the code already from the website called badkings.net. I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. And there's a bunch of stuff here on the custom guide which shows you how to change a weapon for it to work on Trouble and Terrace Town. I'm not going to go through all this because this could be another video completely and there's I'll leave a link in the description you guys can read it um, and you should be able to understand it if you can't then sorry about that anyway so we want to add the code um, to the weapon you downloaded so I took the liberty of taking a bit of code so I'm going to copy it from this one which is one I've previously made and apply it to this one so I like to put my stuff organized so I'm just gonna put it under world model okay and don't worry about these greens that's just me telling myself that that's a certain code in the that I that I want to edit so the first things the first two lines are actually the most important swept base allows the weapon to be on the TTT uh, server or game Swept kind is what kind it is. So if we look back at the website, you have a few different kinds here. You have pistol, heavy, nade, equip one, equip two, roll, melee, and carry. Okay. So it's got a little description there as to which one's which. But in this case, we're going to pick weapon heavy, which is rifles, shotguns, and machine guns. Okay. So I'll just minimize that. And it's already weapon heavy, so I don't have to worry about that. Now the weapon's customized, and it's a swap. So Weapon entity doesn't really matter, but um, I have this in here because it does apply to other weapons that aren't going to be a custom bullet, if you get me. They're not different. They're not um, of a, they're a different weapon sort. So there's bullets and then there's laser guns or whatever. Okay, so that's all we need to do. You can, I'll leave this code in the description if you want to use this and see if it works for you. But um, the main two that you're going to need are swept base and swept kind. And also read up, read up on the badkings.net if you're not if you're not familiar. Okay, so we'll just save that, and that should be in the add-ons folder. So if we close that, now we need to run the server, and I will show you that you can pick up the weapon and do exactly what the weapon's code has programmed it to do. Okay, so I've already started my server, so I'll just minimize that. Go into Steam, Gary's Mod, play game. Okay should load up here and just give me a minute while the server loads up and I'll be back with you in a minute okay so we're in the server and 
it's just preparing so don't worry about that so i'm just gonna go to an area where i can show you the pistol or not the pistol the weapon actually works so i'm gonna spawn the weapon I, we just created uh using the code that i've linked in the description okay so we go to archon ent and we type in now there we go eg pick it up and there you go a weapon is now available to use obviously a very op weapon but you get the point so you can basically take any weapon that's for gmod and apply it to your server now you can see that the crosshairs at the front um there's actually two crosshairs one's from sandbox and one's from ttt you can edit that if you know more about the code uh and, which is um inside the shared dot lua but anyway uh that's what we want that's all i wanted to show you guys um if you want me to show you how to apply the weapon to point shot let me know in the description uh or not description in the comment below um i'll probably end up doing it anyway because i know a lot of people out there have trouble with that I certainly did at the beginning and then I got used to it. Thanks guys for watching. Um, I'm Slime Sandwich 92 Yes, I did change my name the other day. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace.